Hey, everybody. Ben Fredrickson here alongside Jeff Gordon for a remote edition of NetFront Presence video edition. Gordo, you and I were talking as we got through our topics here, and you said something. I said, wait, stop, press record. Let's get into this. You think this is the most entertaining team that we've watched with the Blues since, since Brett Hull was out there. That's a big statement. Yeah, you go back to the Hollow Notes era, and those guys were putting on a show. I mean, that that was fun. That was entertaining. This team doesn't have that one superstar like a Brett Holler, that one spectacular playmaker like Adam Oates, but their top nine forwards are pretty darn impressive. You've seen them score a lot of goals. They're racking up Ws at home. And now when you have Buchnevich back with the Russians, you have Raiden Shen back scoring well. You can still get David Perron going. Robert Thomas and Jordan Cairo are explosive young players. I mean, they've got big time talent. This team has speed. This team has scoring ability. This team has depth. This team has defensemen stepping up into the play, freewheeling it like Tory Krug. This team will go out there and play fast, score score goals, and entertain fans, which is the way it's been at Enterprise Center. There are probably some fans who are saying, "Hold on a second, Gordo. That team that won the Stanley Cup was pretty entertaining. Does this team have that? We've talked a lot about." The defense. Um, I mean, Tory Krug is an example of a guy who has um, turned uh, turned his critics into his biggest fans. But in terms of defensive edge, not scoring, they've got that. But in terms of the defense, does this team have what it takes to make a deep run? And if you're Doug Armstrong saying, "No, we probably need to add a top four defenseman," I don't know where he where he goes to to relieve the cap space to do that. You mentioned Shin. If he was having a rotten year, maybe that's the guy. But he's playing better, and he's a key part of this team. Yeah, you know, he's a heart and soul guy like Alexander Steen. Like Steen, he's paid a you know really heavy price for playing that way, throwing his body into harm's way. Uh, but, uh, you know, now he's productive, and, and he can skate, and he can shoot, and he adds to that element in addition to the physical element. So, yeah, the challenge for, for the Chief is how do I get this high-scoring team, which can put on a show, to knuckle down enough to play the sort of game they're going to need to play in the postseason? where there's going to be more banging around like you saw with the Nashville Predators when they came in with that football team that they had with all that size. That's what you're going to still have to, to deal with going forward. But you know, I look in this side of the league and Colorado's got an entertaining team that can, can wheel. Vegas has that type of team. When they get all their players, Jack Eichel, Max Pacioretty in the lineup, they're going to be able to wheel. So maybe the playoffs on this side of the league is going to be, will be free wheeling. But to get back to your point, I don't know where you get the cap space unless somebody gets hurt because the good young players are not making any money and other teams want them. Your veterans are pretty productive and the guys you can trade off the back end of your roster. Well, you know, they don't make a lot of money. So how do you get to that space? You're trading Marco Scandella for a top four defense, but the numbers aren't going to work. Yeah. You could wonder, do they maybe move a a goalie, but here they are with uh, I wouldn't say a controversy, but uh, an interest, you know, you got Billy Huso who's playing out of his mind. Jordan Bennington, I think the Blues want to say, hey, that's the guy. But they're going to start spreading this thing around some, and they should. Is Jordan Bennington have to be concerned here, Gordo? Not well, to be traded, to, but to lose his job. Yeah. Well, no, he's going to have to compete. And I thought his body language when he gave up that uh, really bad angle goal was, was, was worse than what we've seen. He's, he lets stuff get to him. Um, he's an emotional guy. He's got to answer the challenge. And Huso's going to get some starts. They've got some back-to-backs. they got an opportunity to play him for sure, even under no, just normal circumstances. But Huso's looked calm. He's looked composed. He's done a good job. Now, I'm not saying trade Jordan Bennington to create cap space for a defenseman. They bet once on a young goalie and won a cup. I'm not sure they want to do that again, Ben Fred. Now, the tandem's working out well. We'll see if Huso can influence it in his favor. It wasn't that long ago we were asking if Charlie Lindgren would. So that can be a popular <laughs> topic Uh here on the uh, on the videos fair enough gordo will have it covered at stltoday.com keep it locked there on our new sleek cool looking website for all of your blues coverage for jeff gordon i'm ben fredrickson we'll talk to you next time